Hey, man, it's time to mix. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. This channel is all about helping you record and mix better and faster. So if you're new to the place, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you've been here before and you ain't hit that share yet, then hit that share, man. Come on. <laughs> all right. So on my previous video, I did a full recording session with my wife and daughter right here in my home studio. Take some time to stay with me. And now, today, we are going to mix that track. Now, it's a cover song. It's going to be a pretty basic mix, but I'm going to walk you through my basic mixing process and, and run through it. Now, as I get started with this, there's pretty much going to be a live mixing. So I'm not going to be talking too much because I'm monitoring through the actual speaker. So I'm not going to talk you through every single thing, but occasionally I will stop and like kind of tell you what I'm doing. I'll, I'll give you the play by play. Now, here we are. This is the session. It's just two vocal tracks and then a stereo beat track. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is organize and arrange my session, and then I'm going to start to edit up some stuff. So let's go ahead and jump off into it. So first thing first, um, typically I'll have my uh, I'll have my my beat track beat at the top. Right. And a lot of times I don't want it to be the same color as everything else. So I'm just going to go ahead and change that into a different color. Now, each one of these uh, vocalists, I'm going to give them a unique track color, too. This will just help me to easily navigate through the session so that I don't got to be trying to guess what's what. I don't like that color, though. All right. That's better. And then we can keep the Lydia track. You know what? I don't like that uh, blue either. We just going we gonna to go there. All right. Cool. So now a nice, colorful session. We got K in the green. We got Lid in the blue or purple, whatever that is, and the beat in the pink. While I was recording, I did already have a reverb set up, so I'll keep that in place for now, all right? Um, other than that, um, first thing I'm going to do is start to use clip gain to match some of these levels just visually based off what I'm seeing. So um, I'm going to just go in here and start to use clip gain. So I'm going to separate these clips and just boost this up a little bit to where it looks a little bit uh, full, like a natural signal. And then I'm gonna also do some trimming, some tops and tails on this stuff. And this does it even before I even play anything, all right? So I'm just cutting out stuff that is unnecessary and uh, gaining some stuff up. Now, since I was recording this again, if you didn't see the recording session, you should go and watch that. But since I recorded both of them, at the same time, there is some overlap on these tracks. And I can see how, you know, Lydia's vocals are overlapping on here. And I don't want that in there. So I'm just going to trim a lot of that overlap out as I'm uh, editing here. So that's what you'll see me doing as well as clip gaining and trimming and adding fades uh, as I go along. So I'm just going through making sure everything is going to be nice and clean, uh, listening occasionally when I need to. Like, I'm not sure about this section. Um, so I need to listen. Okay, and then once uh, K starts singing, we can cut that out. Add fades on all these tops and tails. All right now, yes, you know some of y'all probably saying, "Yo, Wavy, you could have used um, um, you could have used what is that? What's that called? Uh, um, a strip silence and stuff to do this, but I like to do it manually. That way, I'm I'm assured that uh, is going to give me the exact results that I want. Lift me up, hold me down, keep me close, safe and sound, drowning in endless sea.
right. So yeah, I'm just still going through cleaning up, adding fades. Um, it's it's important that you get used to you know navigating and editing really quickly. That's why you can uh, kind of stay creative and stay in the zone. So if you're not hip to my Pro Tools certification course yet, I do have a link uh, down in the description of this video that I will uh, share with you. But basically, yeah, man, I, learning your shortcuts, your quick keys, how to easily you know how to easily uh, trim clips, add fades, all that stuff, man, it's just gonna make your life so much easier as you are um, working in Pro Tools. So um, a lot of this I can visually just see. And so you see me just kind of blazing through, cleaning up uh, these tops and tails, getting rid of any little unnecessary parts of the waveforms that we don't need. And it's just gonna help make everything so much better. After I do this, um, I'm gonna apply a small amount of auto tune to this. Um, just a real natural amount though, just because I want them to sound really, really uh, perfect. And I know the original uh, version of this definitely had some um, tuning. So I'm gonna apply a little, a little tune as well. Just some auto tune. I'm not gonna go in depth with any uh, manual manual tuning and, and stuff like that um again this is a cover so we're gonna we're gonna try to keep this nice short and sweet while still sounding really good okay everything is looking pretty consistent This probably can get gained up a little bit. There we go. Cut both of these at the same time. Oh, Pro Tools doing something strange there. Okay, I think I am clip gained up. Everything uh, uh, edited up. Everything seems pretty pretty good in levels and now we can start to attack this thing so one of the first things that i want to do here is go ahead and apply some auto tune so let's go ahead and hit the auto key um plug in there it is i'm gonna put that there and then i'm gonna uh, insert auto tune pro right over the vocal track and let's just see what we get Say just let that listen for a few minutes in a hopeless dream hold me when you go to sleep keep me in the strength of your love when you depart keep me safe safe and sound lift me up This is how I test the auto tune. Want to make sure the key is right whenever I do this. I always just turn the retune speed up all the way, right? And oh, we don't want to do the learning, even though I do like that feature. I'm gonna keep it right there. And uh, yeah, the auto key is on. So let's just see. Safe and sound. That sound good. Now, you can probably hear like a little bleed from Lydia's track. Again, they were singing in the same room directly across from each other. So um, that's just natural. It's not going to it's not going to hurt anything. It's not going to you're not going to hear it when everything is all together. Um, so, boom, little flex tune. Let's turn that humanize up and let me hear it again.
All right, bet. I think I like that, and it's undetectable. Let's hear Lydia in there with it. Oh. All I did was copy the uh, auto tune plugin over to this track by holding an option, dragging it down. Oh. Lift me up, hold me down, keep me close. Say So now let's go ahead and start doing some EQ. I, when I recorded this, I um, wanted them to hear themselves a little bit better. So I slapped this Rvox on there to give them just a little bit more compression and bring it up front. I think I'm going to just bypass that for now. And let's start off by um, filtering this out. I'm going to start off with the Fat Filter Pro Q3. And I'm going to just go to uh, one of these sections here. It's a solo uh, K's vocal. And I always change from the um, zero latency to a uh, natural phase. And and um, let's roll off the extreme lows first. Lift me up, hold me down, keep me close. Lift me up. All right, cool. I'm happy with that, and um, I'm gonna do the same thing on Lydia. Lift me up. Cool. And um, basically, now let's just go and grab a multi band. Typically, it's what I'll do um, next on my vocal chain. Now, this MC44, this new edition, I don't know why it always takes so long to load up. <laughs> Lift me up. Okay. Let's go to this louder part. Burning in a hopeless dream. Hold me when you go to sleep. Keep me safe. We need light. Safe and sound. And I'm hearing that I, I want to, matter of fact, let me just mute this reverb for now. Sound. Burning in a hopeless dream. Hold me when you go to sleep. Keep me safe. We need light. All right. That's sounding pretty good. Controlling. Um, the just kind of really kind of shaping that vocal with that multiband compressor. And then now I'm going to go to one of my favorite uh, compressors, which is now free and included with Pro Tools. This is the Smack uh, compressor. I'm just going to switch it over to opto mode. And all I have to do here is adjust the input and the output um, and watch for the correct uh, uh, gain reduction that I'm getting. Safe. We need light. 
That's a, a very transparent sounding uh, compressor right there. Different sound. Burning in a hopeless dream. Hold me when you go to sleep. Keep oh, yeah. I like that. Now, let's uh, listen to uh, what Lydia is sounding like. Um, do a little multiband on her. I'm not going to copy that. I'm going to actually just... Um, put a new one, MC404, and we'll start off at this section with her. Safe and sound, safe and sound, safe and sound, safe and sound, safe and sound. All right, she sounded like she overloaded the mic a little bit, but it's okay. Safe and sound. Safe and sound. All right, and let's bring that smack down. Safe and sound. Safe and sound. Safe and sound. Let's Lydia needs to be a little bit brighter to uh, compete with uh, Kay's brightness on that mic. They're on two different mics, so I'm going to brighten her up. Safe and sound. Lift me up. So much better. Hold me down. Keep me close. Safe. Uh-huh, we overloaded something right there. We need love. Oh, lift, oh, lift me up. We need love. Oh, lift me up. In your arms. I need love. I need love. I need. We need love. We need love. Let me actually uh, set up a mix bus real quick. So I'm kind of working a little uh, quickly here. I didn't even um, set up a mix bus. So let's do that now. 
this is basically routing all the outputs of the tracks uh, to this aux input track. And I just want to check my uh, levels via a VU meter. I have a hardware VU meter, but I want y'all to see. Um, I'm going to set the headroom to um, uh, 15. And let's see. Let's hear this from the top real quick and see where we at. You know, we did a lot of kind of broad adjustments just to get everything fitting. Now it's time to just finesse the sound a little bit, um, uh, warm it up, add some fatness, um, add the proper texture and color that we really need for this mix. I'm gonna probably start off too. Um, you'll see me add like a uh, a chorus and effect or two. Hmm.
<laughs> playing around with some pan in the C, you know, just trying to see what that might have sounded like. But I'm going to add a second doubler. You saw what I, I did there with the Echo Boy. I just grabbed the uh, analog chorus preset. And now on this one, I'm going to use this preset I use called Basic Doubler. Just turn that direct off. And um, yeah, that wide too. Let's start from the top. Let's see how this sounds with the uh, intro little humming. Lift me up. And then I think right here, this might just be. Yeah, see, that's not even K on that. So let's turn, take that out. Lift me up. Hold me down. Keep. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know what happened on that. <laughs> Keep me close. Now, I think I want to add like a little delay right there. Um, so let's just see. Um, it'll probably be some type of like just a little slap delay that's not in time. Let's actually use the Echo Boy and just pull up a different um, preset. Um, let's see. What's, what's this one do? Ben! 
automation on that reverb too. Love, I need love, I need love. Hold me. Love, I need love, I need love. Hold me. And I like how that's a little quieter, but not so much. Love, I need love, I need love. Hold me. And I'm going to latch this reverb automation up because I want more reverb for the end. Got a little too much, a uh, little low mid in there. I'm gonna just uh, hit this compressor a little harder. Hold me, hold me, hold me, hold me, hold me, hold me. I think I'm gonna actually go audio, audio suite it and um, let's just grab a little EQ here. And I, I want to say that it's probably around like uh, 250 to 300 hertz. And hold me. Yep, that's it. And we're going to render that down. <laughs> me. Hold me. Awesome, awesome. Uh, starting to sound good. Now, uh, what I want to do is put a little glue on the mix bus to start pulling it together. And for that, I'm going to be using a, um, let's go with the Shadow Hills, man, uh, master and compressor. Uh, matter of fact, let me try something new today. I'm going to go with uh, this FGX2. Um, I had some fun with this one. This is a, a new plugin from Slate Digital that uh, just came out. And so let me try. I'm going to start off with uh, just doing some uh, compression. I'm gonna go today.
if I can. Keep me close, safe and sound, burning in a hopeless dream. Hold me when you go to sleep. All right, so I think I am going to just play with some uh, panning on some of these uh, harmonies. So let's just see. I'm gonna start from the beginning and see where I feel it at. And I might just automate some panning on during some of the harmonies. Hmm. Oh, okay. So now that we start to uh, uh, compress all the little breaths and stuff become a little more obvious. So one thing I can do here, let's take this off bypass, undo the compressor, and I'm gonna just bring this gate up, right? That way I'm gating out some of those breaths. Beautiful. Find that P. Let's see if we can find that P. You always got to try to find the P. There it go. <laughs> Too much? I think, you know what? Instead of doing that, I think I just need to uh, bring the uh, gate down some. Me up, hold me down, keep me close, safe and sound, burning in a hopeless dream. Right, and then right there, I want one of them to uh, kind of pan a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, it's going to be K. Um, so we're just going to go into touch automation and just bend her a little bit. Lift me up. I'm gonna do it again. Lift me up, hold me down. Just hold it right there. Keep me close. Good separation. Safe and sound. Drowning in endless sea. Take some time to stay. Okay, then on this one, I'm gonna pan Lydia a little bit, but slightly to the left. All right, and here we go. Lift me up, hold me down. All right, I lie. I don't like how it sounds going to the left, so we're gonna go to Lydia to the right. Hold me when you go to 
All right, right there. Uh, we're going to get lit, uh, uh, Kaylee to go to the left. Burning, burning in a hopeless dream. Hold me when you go to sleep. Keep me safe. We need light. We need love. Oh, lift me up in your arms. I need love. I need love. I need love. Hold me. 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 Ah, uh, yeah, I like that. Now, let's go back to my uh, mix bus. I like to go to my uh, BX V3. Let's go there. Uh, for this, we're going to uh, add some stereo width, and we're going to check and see what the mono and stereo sections are sounding like. We're going to go over to this uh, little ending part and start there. Hopeless dream. Hold me when you go to That sounded pretty good. Let's listen from the top real quick. Just want to get rid of those lip smacks. <laughs> and you know what? I'm going to automate this uh, stereo width plug-in during this beginning part. 
For this last one, I heard lip smack. Probably was this. Okay, Lydia is a little too wide on that one. Left me up. Left, left me up. Hold me down. Keep me close. Say And that's a wrap, y'all. Let me know what y'all think about this quick mix, simple mix down in the comments below, man. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. And of course, I'm here to help you record and mix better and faster. Shout out to Lydia and Kay on this track. <laughs> y'all be dope.